Okay, it goes like this. Goes a little something. Guilty as sin. Look how guilty you are. What's she done there, you reckon? Um, What's she done? I don't know. Bloody mongrel. I bet she's been into the rubbish. This is Leroy. Leroy's the Australian spiker sales manager. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Nice. We'll have an official handshake. This is like the... the we actually met a couple of days ago. But... Yeah. Oh, my name. Oi. Oh my name, it ain't nothing. She's dragged the mouse out of the shed and also <laughs> she's stolen the next door neighbor's cat food and the, and the cat food I container and a bunch of other crap. Oi, come here mate, come eat all this rubbish. What's this? Hey, what the heck? Got a bit windy last night. Clothes lines broken. Chuck it back in the washing machine and spin it and then hang it back up again on my hookerungy clothesline. He's not actually black. You'd think he would be with a name like Leroy, but I was quite surprised. I thought he was a big black dude and he turned up and he's not. Black. That's because my, my family are originally French, so it's in the old Ah, Leroy! Again. Anyway, Leroy's a mate of a mate and he's come over to hang out and go hunting, but it's raining, so we're not actually going hunting. We're just going down to see Dan the man and I'm going to mount some skulls for my lady friend. this one have it that way we're just sitting doing a bit of like that so that it is yeah, sitting that off yeah that's the way we'll just have it like that a bit of a cock idea i quite like that actually yeah a bit more character yeah. crack ahead, that one, isn't it? adair has had these floating around in her lounge for a while so i'm gonna mount them for her we just so went and got this wood from the lake the other week dan's got so a very witty comment for? right here who's this for uh, for a dera, dera, a doe, a dera, female dera. Thought it was a tara. I've got a dera on the back of my ute, brother. Ah. <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a tara sitting right there. Right there. Yeah, he's funny, isn't he? Right. <laughs> we'll see if we can sort this out. This is the beginning. Finishing oil, um, it's really beautiful. It's smooth as the little little cracks that are coming out. Now. That's yeah. actually going to be really cool. Yeah, don't be shy, chuck it on. Silver pine. I like looking over the bank, looking at you going, <laughs> I see you. I'm over here. Hello. An hour or so later, 
done. I buggered the sandy about that. The silver pine just has so much resin in it. It's actually a really good killing. It splits really nicely. It's really good for fence posts or foundations because it lasts years in the ground. Even better than Totra. Totra, actually. That was silver pine. Someone told me the mouldy name for it, but I can't remember. Comment below if you know the mouldy name for silver pine. Six helicopter crews and 14 ground crews to do culling programs. So the writing's on the wall, get rid of the deer, 80% of it. Crazy. Look at her now. Money well spent. On the mish, boys on the mish, gonna boat up this river here and see how we go. Fingers crossed, there'll be a roaring stag just in the bush, and he's come out, and he'll just walk on out, we'll shoot him, and he'll be massive. Bit of gentleman hunting today. Probably not, we'll probably end up on the top of the hill in the dark, lost. Didn't bring a compass. Is there a compass? Who needs a compass? Minor details. Actually, I think I got one in my first day kit there. We'll be right. It's a good thing about the west coast. All the hills go to the river, all the rivers go down to the ocean. So you never really kind of get lost. You know we are, but lost at the same time. It's quite a, it's quite a strange feeling. Lost, but not lost. Anyway, enough fight yet. Yep, let's go. It's alive. I'm not really dressed for the occasion. It's a bit hot. I've only got a long sleeve. Don't have any camo or anything. We'll be right. upstream and go to some clearings I know of up here because the deer are eating the ferns and they usually don't eat ferns over winter so there's probably not much tucker for them and we just had a 
really good flush of grass after the long hot summer so there's a good chance the stags may still be eating in on the clearings because it's quite early in the raw yet so we'll boost up to the clearings and see if we can get lucky. Cooling down the air, hopefully it should start dropping down the valley now. We just got to the river and it was flying the wrong way. It was pretty confusing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's what happens in the dark. <laughs> Hang on a minute, luckily I got the app on my phone and I looked at it and we just did a bit of a half turn through the forest and then a U-turn and walk back the way we come from and come to the river. It's always slightly disorientating when that happens, but I think we're on the money now. We're... You were saying that you know where you are though. Yeah, we're right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not exactly lost. And we're not where we were before. Nah, and soon we'll be over there. So that's good. It is good. Yeah, we're right here in the bush. So. It's not raining. We're all good. I think we passed this earlier. <laughs> looks, it looks very familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> God, I hate being lost. Shit is. <laughs> Way beauty. Look at that. Trusting dog. I think that's all good.
Well, there you go. Made it. Made it. The poison. Yeah. Heroes on the sugar. I've run out of honey. Neither of us are really breakfast type people. We rely on the coffee and the glucose to get us going. We're gonna go shoot a stag and eat its liver. Maybe, nothing wrong. Not one moan in the forest last night. It was dead silent. Balls. Going down to a little clearing. I know of me and Wicker scared the dead away a few years ago down here. This is the life. I was kind of hoping for a massive antlet pointing out everywhere back to the truck, but them's the brakes. Good to go back to the old hunting spot. I haven't been there in a long time. up another hitchhiker. This one talks almost as much as Palfy does but he's half as entertaining. We might get a bit wet tonight, that's, that's not ideal. I hate jet boating in the rain. Taking away from the puppies for a mission, she hasn't been out in a while so 
Boy, get out of it. Get up, boy. The rain's pushing up the valley really hard and we're still about 4k below the truck so I don't really want a jet boat and a hammering down rain, it's really hard to see and quite dangerous at night with a torch in the rain because the torch doesn't penetrate the rain so in the interest of safety we're going to pull pin and go back to the truck, a bit of a bugger because there's heap of DS on here too. On second thoughts we're going to ride the lightning and just go because it's going up the valley so if it hits us hard we can just jump in the boat and gun it upstream.
Good dog. God's on our side, he'll stop the next war. Not bad, eh? Secret Station. Spot X. Secret Station. Spot X. We're going to meet old May Reese. Reese Dog. What a glorious day on the East Coast. It was snowing yesterday. We drove over last night. It was snowing. We were going to go camping, weren't we, Charlie? Yep. I was going to sleep in the truck in a towel, but I realised it wasn't a good idea, so... <laughs> yes, he came and um, interrupted me. I was having a bit of a wrestling match. Oh man, we are late. We're supposed to be up the hill now. I sat down, I woke up at 4.30. 4.20 actually, I woke up. Did you know your testosterone kicks in? Testosterone production kicks in about 4 till about 8 o'clock, those are the hours that your body produces the... Unless of course you're a 13 year old boy, then it's just... Oh, 14 years old! Yep. Yep, 14 years old, unbelievable. Happy birthday to Charlie. This is Brian, who got Marcel on the back. We got one stag growing just in the gut down there, so we're gonna cruise around and try and sneak in from the top. The wind's being a real bastard, it's squirreling around these hills. Pretty strong southwest, but because of all the gullies and stuff, it's eddying out and going every which way. So Brian reckons we stay up high and come in from the top, which sounds like a pretty good plan. It's thick as all buggery in there, it's all gauze and kanuka and shit as so hopefully he's in the native and we can get in the open stuff because we won't be able to sneak in on him on this crap so thick so we've got a, a real mixed bag here we got native and pines and gorse a bunch of scrubby kanuka and not a lot of stock up here well not big stock just sheep by the looks of it so it's going to be real thick in there hopefully we don't have to go into that shit i'm not a pig hunter so i don't like crawling around on my hands and knees and tunnels but <laughs> These boys are used to it, eh? They just get in there and give it arseholes. Gotta back the dogs up. Reese was wanting to chuck him in, eh? But Ralph, Reese's old man, was like, oh, he's not bringing those dogs, horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's back on that corner, there was a stag. Oh, there's a stag. We had a bunch of snow coming yesterday. It was quite cold. We drove over from the west coast. It was sleeting and snowing on the way over. And uh, it's just stopped today, thank Christ. Would have been a cold day out there yesterday. There's a couple going over in there the other day on that, that terracy stuff. That's how many long good stairs. Pick just over there. Just pick just right there, just there. Oh, it's classic. Huh? Oh, yeah, look at him go. <laughs> we'll just come up the top of the block here, have a look in these basins and see if we can hear anything roaring out here. We busted a couple of small pigs that legged it down into the gully. We're going to split up. Ralph's going left. Reese and Marcel and Brian are going right. Me and Charlie are going straight down the guts. There's three of them going, maybe four. Of those other ridges, but they just slowed down. There's one still going over there. Charlie just heard a small moan just below us there. But yeah, they stopped roaring at each other. So we can't actually figure out what's